Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Monday, October 19th, the feast day of St. Isaac Jogus. Uh, he was a French Jesuit missionary and martyr uh, who traveled and worked along the Iroquois, Huron, uh, and other Native American tribes and populations in North America. Uh, and he was eventually martyred by the Mohawks in upstate New York. Uh, there's actually a shrine, a shrine for him in, I forget what county it is, but somewhere in New York. Uh, but anyway, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to them, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall, I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have... So many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. Okay, so we've got a sayings against greed and the parable of the rich fool, uh, which... Seems pretty obvious about what the message of this gospel is today from Luke. And, uh, you know, especially you know, having grown up on a farm, uh, you know, just seeing seeing just the, the goal and just the, the, we actually, I was on a retreat, or not a retreat, but uh, I went hiking this past weekend and camping and we were talking about how farmers historically have uh, strong faith lives because they truly have to depend on God with the weather and everything else for their harvest. So, uh, within this parable, we have a, a parable of the rich fool who had a great harvest, an abundant arv harvest, and was looking to uh, store things up for many years and just live off of that while continuing to do their yearly harvest. And, um, you know, it says, for many years, rest, eat, drink, and be merry. So, it made me think of people, uh, primarily those who are elderly, or not elderly, but, you know, old enough to be at retirement age, and, you know, those who are old enough to be retired who you know, eat, rest, drink, be merry, um, and how there's some some older people that I know that have, like, they almost feel like they have a lost sense of value within themselves uh, because, you know, they kind of just let their foot off the gas and don't have much to strive for anymore, uh, which is totally not true. Uh, you know, every day and every year is a blessing uh, for every single one of us, so whether you're 30 like me, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old, there's always something uh, to be striving for, uh, to be rich in what truly matters to God. Uh, you know, people say, oh, I can't wait till I retire. But but then once we retire, then what? we got to have something else to, to strive after, uh, to make ourselves feel valued, uh, like there is a purpose for us. Um, I think, uh, like I said, I, there's quite a few people who are, old and retired who just kind of go through the motions and don't really, you know, kind of almost depressed, which is sad to see. So the challenge is to, to not ever let ourselves get to that point. So I'm going to read the footnote here uh, of what it says here in Scripture relative to these verses. It says, This collection of sayings relates to Luke's understanding of the end time and the return of Jesus. Nope, false, wrong one. This is the correct footnote. Luke has joined together sayings contrasting those whose focus and trust in life is on material possessions, symbolized here by the rich fool of the parable, with those who recognize their complete dependence on God, those whose radical detachment from material possessions symbolizes their heavenly treasure. So, um, again, the challenge is to make sure that we are rich in what truly matters to God, because we could die tomorrow, and what am I going to do with all my stuff? You know, my bank account, all this other stuff. We can't bring it with us. So we got to keep the end sight, the end goal in sight, 
and make sure that we are truly rich in our hearts and in our faith of what's going to happen to us afterwards. So right now I'm getting ready for a spiritual retreat that begins here in a few hours. And uh, so I'm discerning what uh, what I'm going to continue doing, what I'm going to discontinue doing uh, relative to primarily technology and different things. Um, so it's just a constant battle to make sure that I am uh, not losing sight of my focus and dependence on God and don't get trapped into being on the computer or browsing or anything else for like 15, 20, 30 minutes to an hour because it goes by pretty quickly. So that's a challenge for me personally today as we begin a silent retreat. But for the sake of the, the gospel here, I will plan on continuing to do these videos even though I considered stopping, but I won't because um, we need the gospel every single day. So have a great day. Have a great start to your Monday. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and the Spirit, amen.